and South Oak Cliff with Barbara, Barbara Brown McCoy, South Oak Cliff legend. So one of the things that I like to endure is like people's stories. So tell me something that you really had to endure to get to making the USA team, SFA, Hall of Fame, Sappho Kids legend. So just talk to me about that legacy that you kind of left okay. behind. Just like anything else, the uh, hardest thing is just making yourself work hard enough to get to where you need to go. And every at every level, it's going to be a different obstacle that you have to endure. Uh, starting here at South Oak Cliff, I came here uh, as a fre as a sophomore, starting on a varsity team. You know that alone uh, is something that you have to endure, being the younger player and fighting for a starting position. Then when I went to college, I played. I only played defense in high school. We played six man basketball, and I only played defense. So the hard work I had to put in to become one of the leading scorers at Stephen F. Austin. It's a lot of hard work in the summer learning how to shoot and make my uh, make it a success for me. And then as far as uh, being chosen for the Olympic team, I, I, by that time, uh, I knew what I had to do. And I was one of those players. I wasn't always the best player, but I was the hardest working player. And those type of things get you, as long as you're working hard and you know that you have uh, things that you're trying to accomplish, it becomes second nature to you. You just go and do what you have to do as a player. But I've just been so proud through all of my career to represent this school because this is my foundation for everything that I've accomplished. So you had a basketball career, outstanding basketball career, but talk about the achievements basically outside of basketball after playing. Well, most of my accolades now are coming since I've stopped playing. I've been inducted into uh, five different Hall of Fames starting in, South, starting in, in college, I guess and then the area Dallas Black Sports Hall of Fame, and finally the one here, the Dallas ISD Hall of Fame, which is probably, I don't exclude the rest, but the Dallas one is my most important one, because this is, like I said, this is where I started, and this is the foundation that's been, that, laid, that was laid for me to play at each level that I played for afterwards. And uh, my thing is just always being able to contribute back to my school and give wherever I can to help us continue to be the original number one school. All right. <laughs> That's it.